All right, so we're going to go over the five basic steps on how to, to hold the violin and get it into playing position. So the first one is, is, is first position or rest position, however you would prefer to call it. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your right arm like a chicken wing and you're going to place the violin underneath, making sure that you don't rest your arm on the bridge. You want to make sure it rests on the tail piece down here and bring your arm down and cradle it like this underneath your arm. That is rest position. Second position is you're going to take your hand, put it on the neck of the violin like this, fist around. You're going to take your first finger of your right hand and put it on the button of the violin, which is the bottom piece on the or the button on the bottom of the violin. And you're going to pull it out straight in front of you like this. This is second position. Third position is you're going to take the violin and completely flip it upside down. This is third position. The fourth position is you're going to take it up and bring it level to your shoulder. You don't want it to come down on your shoulder, that's not it, you just want it flat with your shoulder like this. And in the final position, you bring it in to your neck and lay it down on your shoulder. And when you bring it in, you want to put your chin on the chin rest right here, just like that. You're going to bring it in as close to your neck as you can get it, that way you can get it on, onto your neck. You want it not like this or like this, you want, it, you want the neck coming straight off just like I have it. And as far into your neck as you can get it, just to make sure you can get a good hold on it. You can put your hand right here on the, the top of the body of the instrument. Once you have it on the chin rest and you, ha or you have your chin on the chin rest and you shoulder uh, shouldered up, what you should be able to do is if you have it secure um, in position on your shoulder, you should be able to remove it, your hand and just hold it with your neck, just like this. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up our left hand and how to put it onto the neck to get ready to play. So you're going to take it and you want to put the neck right here in this meaty part of your hand. Just like this, just like so. And your fingers should all be pointing out. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb, just like this, and lay it flat down on the instrument on the side of the neck. You don't want it way up here, and you don't want it way down here. You want it just kind of resting right there. And you're going to take these four fingers, and you're going to curve them over. And if you can, put them all on one string. If not, they can be draped over however many strings, all four, like I have them, just like that, because um, I have larger fingers. But what the goal of this is that you want to be able to do is you want to be able to slide up and down the, the neck of the violin very freely. You don't want any, you don't want to have any tension there. You just want to be able to slide up and down just like this. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up our right hand and we're going to call that our playing hand. For this purposes, it's going to be um, a pizzicato hand. So you're going to take your thumb and your first finger and make an L or a backwards L in this situation. Take the thumb and place it on the very corner of the fingerboard like so. And take your first finger and put it about an inch up onto one of the strings. It doesn't matter which one. And you're going to take the other three fingers and curl them up like I have. Making sure that you're not resting down here with a finger down or two or all fingers down. You want to make sure it's up like this so that you can get the best sound out of the strings. Like so. And you want to keep these fingers curled. And then you want your wrist to be straight up and down like mine. You don't want it back broken like this or like this. You want it just to be kind of relaxed and just like that. Maybe a little bit of a turn in. Just like that. And then you want to continue with the right hand, finger. And that way you can pluck all the strings and you can freely move up and down the neck of the, thing, of the violin. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to work on... Um, setting up the hand placement on the bow. Um, for the moment, we're not going to use the bow because um, that's not quite practical and we're first learning. So you're going to take your, you're take your pencil and you're going to hold it out in front of you with your left hand. It doesn't have to be that far. You can be real close to your body. And you're going to take your right hand and these five fingers in your hand are going to become your bunny. You're going to take your thumb and you're going to put a little bit of a curve in it and take it and place it right in the middle underneath the pencil just like so. And then these two fingers are going to be your teeth. You want them to drape all the way over, relaxed, but you want the second joint right there at the knuckle, like so, to come down and be flat, like so, come down, flat like that, and be draped over. The next thing that's going to happen is you want your bunny, oop, fix your thumb right there, you want your bunny to come and fall asleep falling this way and then you want this finger just to kind of relax just a little ways away from the other fingers and just draped over doesn't do anything it's just there but you want it curved back that way 
And then your last thing is your pinky. And it's gonna come over, you're gonna curl it down and place it right on the tip of the pencil. Oops, keep those fingers together. Pen or right there. Right, touching the flat part of your pinky to the to the pencil. Making sure that your hand stays dri uh, to drop to the left. And now you can take the other hand off and now you should have it set up the correct way, like this. You want no tension, you just want it to be relaxed, just like that. Fingers draped over, the three fingers draped over, one finger touching down here on the end, just like that, real relaxed. Curving the thumb, touching the pinky, relax here, relax here, in that joint, and then that's how you set up your bone.